today I'm going to unbag and take a look and do a page turn or whatever you want to call it of strategy and tactics number 291 right here which was march april of 2015 why am i going back to 2015 well i didn't know anything about this i didn't even know this existed until i was rummaging around on a uh clearance sale or sale at uh, Noble Knight and found this. This is Warpath, Indian Territory in the American Civil War. So if you've watched my channel, uh, then you probably know, or if you do, haven't watched my channel, now you know. Um, I like war game magazines mainly because of they provide uh, some historical context along with them in the articles, but they also address uh, rarely covered or or hardly covered or never covered topics, uh, and the um, American ter uh, Indian Territory in the American Civil War. I do not know of very many uh, games that try to address that topic. So we have the American Civil War, we have Indian Territory, we have Native Americans being involved in the conflict. Uh, and so that uh, sparked my interest. Uh, so let's get in here and see what we have to look at here. We have a magazine, which is typical of strategy and tactics, because it is a magazine, but it, it comes with a war game, or you can buy it with a war game. It can come alone without a war game, but uh, who'd want to do that, right? Uh, it has the map and the counters are in here we'll take a look at those in a second here but let's let's do a little bit of a page turn of the magazine because the rules will be inside here I'll take a look here here are an example of some of the folios the new for 2014 folios and these are some world war one folios and looky here uh gaza 1917 now i'm filming this while my giveaway is still going. I've, um, I have this up for a giveaway. However, uh, when I post this, when this gets uh, uploaded and posted, the giveaway might be over, right? Uh, I was, one of the keys was to get to 2,000 subscribers. If I get to that, I'll give this away. If I have not reached that, well, guess what? There it is. So you can see a little article for that. Uh, that is out there. So it depends on the timing, right? Timing is everything. D-Day at uh, Peleliu. Uh, now, uh, also at the time, at the post uh, filming of this, it is November, and uh, but I think I'm I'll probably end up posting this in December. There's a sale on these. So going back in time, did you take advantage of that sale from Decision Games? Um so here are some of the standard departments in here of what's going on. The feature article is Warpath, and that's one reason why I like magazine games, because they, the, the, there's usually an article uh, that goes along with the game that goes into the background and context and all the good stuff there. So here's the game edition rules and the like. So let's do a little bit of page through. Here is the article that goes along with the game. Warpath, um, Indian Territory in the American Civil War. So a lot of information here. Here's Wilson's Creek right here, not too far from where I am at. I'm right around here. They don't have Pea Ridge, though. So I guess they're saying that the, are, are, there, are there some uh, Native Americans involved in that battle? Not certain. But... Uh, this area right here, I have been around Fort Smith. I've got a link to that. Uh, I, I have, I did a, a, a Kilroy from the road there, so I'll put a link to that. There's Fort Smith, and the Trail of Tears kind of went right through here, kind of one down through here and one through here. So anyway, I like the maps, love maps. Uh, here's Pea Ridge right here. That's interesting. I'm going to have to read this article. So, a little bit of a bend here. That will, uh, the dog ear will come out. 
Wow, so I am going to have that, that. That looks interesting. And here are the rules. And they will come out. Usually there's 16 pages. And what do we have here? There's an advertisement or a, a sale going on. This was back in 2015, so you're late. R16, so there's 16 pages of rules here, which is standard for this. Standard DB, uh, start, sorry, standard decision games format here, dual column or triple column, color. There's that cell, care about that. More on the cell. I wonder if that should, I wonder if that comes out when this comes out. Here is the, uh, more of the rules. Kind of a weird place for that cell. A weird placement inside the middle of the rules and you can see this is a point to point or kind of area map there's there's, there's not the, it's not going to be a hex map so that should be interesting when we get into that this is continuing on with that article this is a new article here the Eagle of Ibn Imal. Interesting. Ibn Imal. Some ads for articles. Age of Dragons, China's Sixth Dynasty period. Now, that's something I definitely want to read up on, too. Cow Cow. Lubai. Yeah, this is something I definitely want to read up on. That's a part of history that I. Uh, have a fascination with good maps in there too so this is how did i miss this in china middle king i have this this is kind of a britannia type game where all these different dynasties all these different uh, factions will come in at their right at their uh, time of history but you're going to play different factions you don't play um you'll get a group of factions that you play and in your decision to you know, wane them out and then bring on the new one uh, is kind of up to you or, or you, you, you're limited to, to what you can do with that faction during a certain time period. Then it, it kind of comes on the scene and leaves the scene and then you have to do with it the best you can with that faction. You'll have a set of factions and it's all portraying the history of China. So I don't know if you're familiar with Britannia, but there's, there's also Italia. There's a lot of different, uh, uh, this game has been used in a lot of different uh, formats, um, uh, including uh, uh, Small World, which is kind of a fantasy format uh, that it's been used in, where this kind of coming in and out of uh, of, uh, of uh, strength or, or uh, its uh, highlight highlights its high point in history. Here's modernizing China's navy. So we got a lot of a lot on China in this uh, in this uh, art book. For this magazine oh this is interesting but this is again this is 2015 so we're looking you know as my time of filming uh this was eight years ago so so still interesting though in my opinion some folio games a lot of uh, strategy and tactics and uh, decision games uh uh, articles in here. Here's uh, SPW, which is a different game. I mentioned, I say that, and there's a different... Oh, these are published by Distinction Games. So everything is... Uh, this is kind of a house organ, this issue. Some more articles here for your information. And... Uh, this looks like it looks like some just uh, some essays, possibly, in here. Anyway, well, a lot of those. I'm really in it for the uh, the war path, and but I'm a pleasant surprise seeing the Chinese uh, history information or the historical information. So there you have it. That is the uh, magazine and some more of their folio games there. So interesting. I like that. Let's look at the counters here. Real thin. Uh, you know, this is 2015. They, they've improved their counters since this time for and, and their counters uh, punch out a little bit easier and do not uh, have as many nibs. But these older counters were kind of thin and nibby, uh, is one way to say it. Uh, so you can see the counters there. 
for the warpath, and uh, they're double-sided. So let's see what the map looks like here. And as I said, it's kind of more of a point-to-point -point or, or controlling some areas in here. I'm going to have to go up Periscope probably to take a better look at this map here. here and I think it's supposed to go long ways but I'll, I mean uh, up and uh, well I guess just the side this is the Confederate side here there is Kansas and this is uh, Texas okay so this is Oklahoma so this is a part of the Civil War I really you really don't see it now the only game that I really and for my youth was the Civil War, the victory games. They had a separate map. You had the normal, you know, map that covered what we're used to fighting over in the Civil War. But um, they had a Texas map or this Western map that was kind of, uh, you know, did not fit well into it. Didn't make a nice little box or a rectangle and kind of st stood off to the side. I think it had some of this stuff in it. Uh, let's see what we got here. So this is Cherokee Outlet. This is north, of course. So here's uh, Fort Wayne here. Here's Fort Smith, which I've been to. Did a little piece on that. Um, I don't know if there's anything for Fort Wayne still there. That's not too far from me. I should probably check that out, see if there's anything still there. Fort Scott, been to that. I haven't done a kill away from the road, but I've been through that many, many a time. Baxter Springs, there was an action there with Quantrill. I did a piece on that. I'll put a link to that in my video as well, since uh, we're putting some names to places or places to names here. Um, so it's interesting here, some places I need to explore. Uh, so uh, there's the map, and then we've got some, we have a turn track here, terrain key here. So you got plain, uh, crossed uh, timbers, forest, rough, and uh, route. Interesting. You have a battle sequence here. Both sides have a battle sequence, and you have battle results table. Result battle results table seem pretty easy here. Uh, Six-sided dice, you've got a panic on a five or six for long-range artillery. All other fire, you've got a panic on a five and eliminate it on a six. So this is kind of a, this might be somewhat of a bucket of dice type approach if you're trying to hit sixes. That's something that happens here. Confederate recruit box, uh, and you have a union recruit box, and then these might be the leaders, and this might be where you're holding, uh, maybe the leaders go on here, and this is the holding boxes for them, possibly. Um, there you have it. So that is Warpath. Do not know anything about this game. I just saw it, saw the topic, and said, you know, that's something that uh, is up my alley. I need to probably take a look at it and see what uh, what it is all about. So the rules aren't out yet. I'll have to pull those out. And the nice thing about uh, decision games or strategy tactics or Modern War, well, Modern War is gone, but uh, World at War, the rules can pull out. Uh, there's there, there's held by a little bit of strip of glue, and they come out relatively easy. So hopefully, th since this is so old, well, eight years, it's uh, still glue will come out relatively easy. Anyway, there you have it. That is what you get in Strategy and Tactics Game Edition of 291 uh, that has the game Warpath with articles and a lot about Chinese. That's interesting. I'd like to see some more games on China. I'd like to see some more games on that uh, period of history. Anyway, thanks all for stopping by. Love to know your thoughts on this. This is interesting to me, and uh, um, <laughs> if you're watching this, maybe it's interesting to you too. Anyway, take care.
Now I haven't uh, punched out the counters yet, but I pulled out the rules. So there are, are the rules. Here's the counters I need to punch out, and here's the map. And this is how I store my uh, magazine games. Now I'll punch out the counters and put those in a baggies. Sort them, and then I just put them in here. There we go. And then this goes on the shelf, and that goes in with my uh, other magazine games or games that don't come in a box. Thanks for watching.